I have some of the best cleaning hacks that will blow your mind and they actually work. And I'm gonna debunk some cleaning hacks that people tell you to do that you should not do. And we're gonna start with baking soda. Everybody's raving about baking soda, but this is, isn't always the best. Let me show you why. Some will tell you if you got scuff marks or stains, just to take a sponge, dip it in some baking soda, and then I hate baking soda in the oven. This is what I'm showing you. And they'll tell you to go like this. Here's the problem when you use this method. Did it remove it? Yes, it did. But then you gotta clean up all of this baking soda, which is a pain in the butt, especially on grout. Do not do that. Here's a better solution for you because it works like 99% of the time. And this is not sponsored by what I'm about to show you. And I wanna make cleaning so easy for you. Like, see, now I gotta figure out what to do with all of this extra baking soda in here and when it dries it will leave white streaks just get yourself a magic eraser this works wonders wet it watch this it cleans even better because of the melamine foam inside there and i don't have to deal with the baking soda look at all of that let me give you another example where you're going to want to skip cleaning with baking soda and just use a magic eraser instead crayons are only allowed in the kitchen in my house somehow though i find crayon everywhere like right here look at this would i really get baking soda out to remove this no i'm just going to take my my magic eraser and I'm gonna go like that yes look at fast fast easy and you don't have to worry about the baking soda cleanup yes I know this is contrary to popular belief stains we all get them on the carpeting on your clothes a lot of people will tell you to use hydrogen peroxide and Dawn dish soap does this work yes it works however you need to be careful when you're using hydrogen peroxide because it can bleach some things and then you got this and you got this and you don't want to expose this to light so yeah it works but I got a better solution for you that is also cost effective again not sponsored by Folix. this works amazing I've showed this in so many videos it actually removes red wine you can use this on carpeting you can use this on upholstery you can use this also on your clothing so one bottle this is quite a large bottle for a great price or you're dealing with mixing up concoctions of things I'll take this living a busy life stinky shoes some experts will tell you just to take some essential oil put it on a cotton ball stick it in your shoe yes this is nice I've done this before I've talked about it however we're not addressing the real problem of the stinky shoes it's dark there's moisture bacteria is growing a cotton ball and essential oil stuffed in your shoe is not gonna take care of that problem. So two solutions I have for you. Rubbing alcohol to kill that bacteria. You could just put a spray bottle top on here, spray it in your shoes, or to save yourself that extra step. This product is awesome. I have been using it for several months now and has a nice smell. It also kills the bacteria. So not only are you killing the bacteria, but you're giving it a nice fresh scent. I don't even know if there's much left in here because I love it so much. I'll even spray this on like my entry rugs. There you go. Bing, bang, boom. Skip the cotton balls if your shoes are really that smelly. One of the comments I get most often on this YouTube channel is Andrea Jean. How do you have energy to do all the things that you do? My life is a little bit crazy with four kids, hockey, dance, running businesses, just trying to maintain a household. So that's why I graciously want to thank today's sponsor of this video, Care Of. Now, coffee certainly helps, but more than that, it's making my health a priority. You may be asking yourself, Andrea Jean, what the heck is Care Of? It is a health and wellness this company that ships personalized vitamins and supplements directly to your door every month so you don't have to do what I typically have done for years and years and years so here's what's fantastic about this you go online you take a very quick yet comprehensive survey to figure out exactly what your goals are and then you get the vitamins sent in these cute packages hello come on in here it says hi Andrea and there's a quote on every single package it's all in here you can throw this in your gym bag you can throw this in your purse you can put this wherever you need to easily access it. This quote says, I want to be remembered as someone who broke all the norms. I mean, we are inspired every day taking our vitamins. And then if you want to keep it in this container, you certainly can. It easily pulls in and out. It could fit inside my cupboard. There's another cute quote here. Why did the bicycle fall over? Because it was too tired. <laughs> 
I mean a little smile for your day. One of my goals this year was to really maximize the hours that I have in a day. And so I was sent these vitamins specifically based on my quiz and of course a little help with sleep because I need to have really good sleep so that I can recharge for the next day. One of the best things I've noticed since using Care Of is I never forget to take my vitamins because I'm excited to see the quote on the back. It's personalized for me and it's this cute little package. Like I can just stick this in my back pocket if I'm going out the door, I'm running somewhere. A lot of times I'll put them in my car because I'm in my car every single day and then I see them right there. I can't like avoid it. And if you're worried or concerned, these are doctor backed recommendations, win-win. Uh, and since taking these vitamins, I truly Really feel like I have more energy throughout the day. Usually I would want to take a little cat nap around two or three o'clock and since using care of I have not felt that way so yay. So what do you need to do to access these amazing benefits and feel your best self this year and years moving forward? Click the links in the description box below and or visit takecareof.com to receive 50% off your first month subscription and enter the code Andrea Jean Five zero, And you can also just scan this code right here for easy access. I love sharing the best things with my friends, my family, and my dedicated viewers and subscribers like you. Do not wait. These things are amazing. And it's gonna make you smile every day when you take your vitamins that are personalized for you. How often can you say that? Oh, and if you're wondering what's in this cute little packet here, you get your very own individualized card that names all of the different vitamins that are personalized specifically for you. Let's get into some more hacks. Cleaning blinds, such a dreaded job in my house. So here's the recommendation. I'm not gonna name any names, but it's to take a sock, some rubbing alcohol, and then this is how you're supposed to dust and clean your blinds. Well, let's soak through it. You know, hopefully it doesn't remove my nail polish. Just kidding. Okay, so we're supposed to do this to dust. Mm -hmm. By the way, my hand is wet. Okay, nice idea in theory, but what am I gonna do with a wet hand and I gotta get up this high and then I gotta put more rubbing alcohol on the sock and whew, deal with that situation. I love rubbing alcohol in your shoes, but not for dusting. Okay, invest in one of these. It's a Swiffer, it works amazing. You can use it for quite a long time while it still attracts dust. All you gotta do, boom, 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 boom. Look at this. Yes, I'm cleaning faster and more effectively than ever before. We all love a good cleaning hack now, don't we? But would we prefer to clean more effectively and more thoroughly with things that actually work? Look at this. Take that, sock and rubbing alcohol. Hard water deposits. Many people tell you to take your faucet or your shower head, put it in a plastic baggie filled with vinegar, and then wrap it over that. Here is the problem. Vinegar can eat away at many finishes. So can you see right here? Look at this. This is because the acidity of vinegar has eaten away this finish, so you have to be so careful when you do that. And you waste so much vinegar trying to submerge it in this thing and it's eaten off your finishes. Maybe it has removed some of those mineral deposits. I have an even better solution for you. Yes, you need something acidic. Let me just pull it out of my pocket here. Grab yourself a lime or a lemon, cut it in half, and then rub it on your problem area. When it dries, put a little more on there, and then just take a little toothbrush to rub it off. That way you're not ruining your entire finishes by soaking it in vinegar. Stinky washing machine. Many people will recommend that you run one cycle with vinegar, and then you run another cycle with baking soda. So now you've ran two cycles and you've spent, I don't know, two hours dealing with your stinky washing machine. Now you certainly can do that. I've done it in the past. Pass, but I got something even better for you. I mean, this whole video should be called, what is Andrew gonna pull out of her pockets to make my cleaning easier? You're just gonna get an Afresh tab. Tide also makes this version. I would not use the Dollar Tree version of this because it does not work very well. In fact, I don't think it works at all. You're gonna throw this in your wash and run it on a hot cycle, and that's it. In fact, many professionals will advise against using vinegar in your dishwasher and in your washing machine because, again, the acidity can eat away at the rubber parts in your washing machine and your dishwasher. A little tab specifically designed to cure your stinky washing machine, and then also so if you have a compartment like this, almost all washing machines, you can take this out. Make sure that you are cleaning this on a regular basis, keeping your door open, also keeping this tray open so that the water can be absorbed and not dark, damp, 
mode loving. We don't want that. A simple tab. I just gotta say something because I've been guilty of this as well. We all love a good hack because one, we can save money. Two, often there are things already laying around your house. And three, I don't know, maybe we're curious to try them. But I would say like eight times out of 10, the hack doesn't actually work as well as something that's specifically designed to cure the problem. I don't know, let me know in that comments box below if you can relate to me on that. Maybe you have a stinky water bottle that just like, you're like, washed it and you're like, mm, I don't, I didn't smell right. And they're like, I cleaned it, but whoo, it's still got something in there. Or maybe you have a coffee mug that's just dirty. Here's the recommendation. You take some baking soda, you put it in there. Okay, that's fine and dandy. I got something better for you in my pocket. Denture tablets, you can get a whole box of these at Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. These are specifically designed to clean, well, dentures, your mouth, disgusting, dirty, Watch this, put this baby in here and then you don't have to deal with the baking soda. Oftentimes it's gonna sink to the bottom of your water bottle. So come on in here, take one of these. When you clean your teeth, you let it soak for about 15 minutes. I would let this soak a little bit longer with your denture tab. Let it work, it's magic, the effervescent, easier than dealing with baking soda once again and cheap. You see those bubbles in there? Yeah, it's working, it's magic. When I saw this cleaning hack, I about, well, fell over. Okay, here's the deal. To clean a dirty pan, here's the recommendation. You grab yourself some aluminum foil. This is not cheap, by the way. I made a satire parody about aluminum foil, you may have seen. Put it in a ball, and then you're supposed to take your soap and rub it all over your pan. Uh, heck to the no, I'm not rubbing this in my pans. Like, this could definitely scratch a lot of surfaces, and I paid good money for these pans, so, I mean, skip this. No, 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 no. Two things you're gonna need. You're gonna want these things. One, a little scraper tool such as this. You can use this all over your house, especially with straight when you try to get up grease and grime in a pan. In fact, let me take you over here to my oven and I'm gonna show you how well this works. Okay, like right here, look at this. Scrape up that grease and grime. Let me show you another area that you can use these. Like little boogers. Just kidding, they're not boogers. At least I don't think they're boogers. Like to accumulate in here and I can get in here. There we go, it's such a small, tight space. There we go. Lift any of that dirt that's stuck in these cracks, not only on your pan. And here's the bonus. You got burnt on grease in your pan. Get yourself some power wash. This works fantastic. Again, not sponsored by Dawn. Spray it in your pan, let it sit there for like a couple hours, depending how bad it is, and get your little scraper tool out. Skip the aluminum foil. Sometimes you just wanna clean your rings at home rather than having to bring it to the place that you bought it because oftentimes they do free cleanings. Here's what people recommend. Toothpaste to clean it. Yeah, it works, but like, then you gotta deal with like all of this in your fingers and getting this out of those nooks and crannies of your ring. Here's an even better solution for you. And by the way, toothpaste is expensive. Get some warm water in a little dish like this, a little cleaning toothbrush, and then all you need is a little dish soap. That's it, that's all you need. And you need a good brush to clean in those nooks and crannies. The dish soap will help uh, loosen up any grease or grime that's stuck in there, make it nice and shiny. And then your toothbrush is gonna do the job by getting a rid of all of the gunk and nonsense that gets stuck in those rings. I don't know, take your pick, toothpaste or just a little soap and water. Ding, ding, ding. Cleaning hack number 10, debunked. And I've been guilty of all of these, in fact. And well, I've learned my lesson the hard way. Maybe you have some stinky towels, like you've washed them, they still have like this mildewy smell, or some workout clothes. Here's what people will recommend. That you take some vinegar, you put it in the wash, or you put it in your fabric softener dispenser. I've done this so many times, and it doesn't actually soften your towels. And I do not think it removes the scent. In fact, it just kind of makes it smell like a, a wet, I don't know, what would you say, Justin? Like a, a wet, dirty towel. So I have something for you. Again, not sponsored. I'm gonna stop saying that. This is awesome. The number one ingredient in here is citric acid and it actually smells good. Now you don't have to buy the downy kind. This works amazing, especially I have two boys in hockey and their stuff gets real stinky. It has a nice, pleasant scent to this. You can get this unscented. It's amazing. Look on the back of this product right here just so that you can see. Cleansing agent, citric acid. That's the ingredient that's helping. Yes, it's acidic, but again, to make the plumbers happy, you're not using vinegar in your washing machine, which they advise against, and it actually works and makes your laundry smell great. It's the next day, outfit change, but don't you worry, my friend, I have pockets 
in this nice vest here. And don't mind the bras and clothes that need to be put away. This is real life, people. I try to keep it real. Here's what they say you should do. Yes, I just washed these in the washing machine. That's what I do with all of my shoes, all of my kids' shoes. I have a ton of athletic shoes. I run a fitness channel as well. So I've done this a lot of times. I've never had any damage to my shoes by just putting them directly in the washing machine. Now you certainly could put them in like a bra bag or a shoe bag if you want to, but I just sort of bang around in there. It's fine by me. Okay, here's the hack that they say to dry your shoes. You take the laces, and I already have wet clothes in here just to prove it to you because I just washed a load of laundry. And you're supposed to stick these laces here on the door and then turn your dryer on. Every time I do this, they just fall through the door. So let me give you an example. Or, or they say just to tie these in a knot. I really don't want to tie these in a knot because with all the pressure and tugging, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it out, but let's just see what happens. You're supposed to stick them here and then you like go like that. Turn on your dryer. Okay, I don't love this idea. I don't. Your laces need to be long enough and then they're tugging on the door and the claws are banging against them. This is what I do when I dry my shoes in the dryer. And you could air dry them here on top of your dryer if you wanted to. You could put them outside. I just tie the laces in a double bow right here, bang. Double knot, double bow, like I would wear them. And again, you can put these in a laundry mesh bag or you can just throw them directly in your dryer. That's what I do all the time. Um, and I do it on a medium heat. Yes, they're gonna bang around, but you know what? It's a little extra music, a little extra action for your dryer. And your shoes will be good as new. And I don't know if you noticed, when you hang your laces by the door, clothes are starting to get caught on the shoes, which could damage your clothing, rip the lace out of the shoe, like it's a disaster. Don't do it. Like in theory, you're like, oh, that's such a great idea. I try the hack so then you don't have to waste your time. Cleaning your bathtub can be a dreaded job. I mean, it's like a big thing. It's like the last thing that you want to do on a Saturday or a Sunday. So here's the recommendation of what you should not do. Uh, this person recommended that you take some baking soda, crawl in your bathtub with a sponge, get it wet, and then you can clean the inside of your tub this way. Does this work? Yeah, but who wants to crawl inside of their bathtub with a sponge and baking soda and then you have to rinse all that baking soda? This is not happening. I have a much better, faster, easier trick for you. Let me just pull something out of my back pocket for you. <laughs> Da, da, da. You can also use this in your shower. It's a Clorox wand. It's got these little tabby doohickeys here, which you could put a microfiber towel in and you want to clean your walls. That's fantastic. Look at that. I don't need to get on my hands and knees. I don't even need to bend over. This swivels, this adjusts, longer or shorter. And then you want to make the Miracle Shower Cleaner. It's vinegar and Dawn dish soap. Some people like to add rubbing alcohol. I don't think you need all of that. And then you mix it together. <laughs> Let's do it faster, right? We're all about making our lives easier. A little Dawn Power Wash. Woo! It's a greaser. A little goes a long way. Yes, it does. And then get yourself some vinegar. I just have some apple cider vinegar. I actually use this to clean produce oftentimes. Watch. Boom, 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 boom. Why do you use this? Because it's acidic and it can help with those mineral deposits. So we got a decreasing agent. We got something that's going to help break down any sort of mineral deposits stuck in your tub. Let this sit for about 10 minutes. We're going to pretend that I let that sit for 10 minutes. Get some hot water. Oh, and by the way, you can buy pads for this to change it in and out. Watch this. Anyone telling you to get in your bathtub down on your hands and knees with a sponge to clean it is crazy. They have too much time on their hands. Look at this. Do, 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 do. You can get everywhere in there. It's actually very fun. Like how fast can I clean this tub? Ooh, get the sides. Get your workout in. Okay. There we go. If you want to skip the vinegar altogether, you certainly can do that. Uh, there we go. I mean, done. Now, how do you rinse this? Yes, you could take in a bucket of water and like do that whole thing. Oh, a long hair right there. Let me show you something else I got up my sleeve for you. One of these, a rinseroo. Yeah, you never have to lift a heavy bucket again if you don't want to. Put this on here, just like that. Now, turn your water on. Now, 
that's what happens when you don't pull the flower all the way to the head of it so make sure that you do that i want to keep it real with you as best as possible if it's got like leg room in here you're going to get some some back spillage but it works great watch okay we're good now keep it quite quite get a toy up Are we cleaning this bathtub? I mean, that took me like five minutes to clean the tub. Okay? Yes! Do you ever do this late night eating? You're eating your popcorn, you got your remote or your chips, and then you look down in your remote control and you're like, oh my word, there's like an infestation of Doritos and popcorn kernels in there. So here's the recommendation. I don't hate this one, but I got something even better for you. Um, also for cleaning your computer keys, I'm gonna show you that too. So you take a post-it and then you can just use it to get in the little nooks and crannies in here. The part I don't love about the post-it is it's pretty flimsy. It's not the most um, durable and then depending upon how much you're cleaning, this is gonna get flimsier. Again, I don't hate it. Got something better for you. You ever seen an itty weedy tiny little brush like this? It is like uh, an elevated Q-tip with a brush on the end. This thing is genius. Like uh, 5,000 of these come in a pack. Just kidding, not that many. But look at this. You can get in there with this brush and then you have this sturdy end here. I use this in my car. This is fantastic. Like really, look at me getting in there. I know, you can clean like a pro and then you're gonna find so many amazing uses around your house to use this little brush. You're just like gonna be fascinated with like now I can't stop, look at me go. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Let me take you to the computer because mine's looking real hmm, hmm, questionable. Computer, look at this. Get in here in these keys. This is gonna work so much, but look, oh, I didn't realize, look at this. It's like cleaning in here. Like what, why, where? Dust, dust bunnies. And then because this is sort of like a felt soft bunny type light tip, you know, type thing. I don't know, I got word jumble there. And um, it works just so like, oh, it grew hair. I knew this was dirty, but I didn't know it was that dirty. Okay, here's the other little tool that's so freaking helpful. You can put this in between here. Like you can really get into the keys. This is great for also cleaning, you know, behind your toilet, underneath your toilet. You can go down in here. We're going to town. We're making this easy. Again, post it. Can you do all this? No, you can, honey. No, you cannot. I mean, you can even clean your screen off a little bit better. Post it's not doing that. No, it is not. Yes. Don't you just love when your house smells so fresh? I love vacuuming. I'm absolutely obsessed. Let me know in the comments box below if you can relate to that one. But what's even better to elevate your vacuuming is when you can sort of scentivize your vacuum. So I've talked about this in previous videos. You can put some cotton balls in here with essential oil on them. They'll just like run around, the smell will permeate. I have a better alternative for you. The cotton ball trick is great, but this is even better. One, make sure that you're cleaning your vacuum filter and checking it on a regular basis. Like, check it once a month. Number two, take your favorite essential oil, whatever oil you love. If it has fresh linen in it, it has my name attached to it. Put a few drops here on a few. Load up your filter. No, I'm just kidding. Put some on your filter. So one, your filter's clean. Two, it's permeating a nice scent. Put that on there, you're gonna vacuum and your whole house will smell awesome. Depending upon the quality of your essential oil and how much essential oil you use will depend upon how long it permeates in your house. But for me, it's typically about a week to two weeks, but I love vacuuming. Did you know on YouTube, there are entire playlists dedicated to just vacuum sounds? Kinda got me thinking. Should I put a vacuum sound playlist on this channel? <laughs> Nighttime, bedtime music. Cleaning your cutting boards. You want them to look nice when you prepare your food, not dingy and dirty. I know oftentimes, even though you put them in the dishwasher, they still look nasty. So here's the recommendation uh, from someone else is that you take some hydrogen peroxide to clean your cutting board. Eh, eh, I'd give it like a B minus, okay? For this method here, I got something better for you. Get a lemon. If you have a lemon, you can put some salt on the lemon to get a little extra grit or again keeping our job easy if you don't have fresh lemons on hand you can buy citric acid the acidity helps break stuff up just like vinegar it has a nice smell this is used for canning I've used this for cleaning before just put a little on your sponge it's already got a little grit kind of like baking soda on it and you can use this to clean 
your cutting boards. Not only will it smell nice and kind of citrusy, but you got the grit, you got the acidity from the vinegar breaking anything down. Much better alternative in my opinion. Now, rather than doing what I showed you, which is dipping the wet sponge in the container, although nothing's really wet in there, you can put a little on here. Back your face up because these are this is fine and you don't want to like like pass out. I'm just kidding. I mean it's all natural. It's all natural. Grub it up dub, baby. Number 16, speaking of sponges, some people recommend that you put these in your dishwasher, same with scrub daddy sponges. You can do that. However, let's kill two birds with one sponge, shall we? I know that's a terrible expression. Okay, my sponge is wet. Again, I'm gonna put a little apple cider vinegar on here. You could put any vinegar on here. You could put no vinegar on here. Pop this in your microwave, okay? Let's put it in here for like, I don't know, 20 seconds. And the radiation from the microwave is gonna kill the bacteria on your sponge, but just wait for it. I have a second trick for you. It's, it's the two bird because of the sponge thing. You put it in your dishwasher, well great, you have a wet, clean, sanitized sponge. Just wait, <laughs> radiation, <laughs> microwaves. <laughs> okay, anyway, it's in here, right? Ooh. It's a little toasty, don't put it too hot. You can see it steaming. Now, you can use this to wipe down and clean the inside of your microwave, okay? And then you can put it back in to clean the sponge, make your sponge smell better. Yes, woo! We working smarter, not harder. I'm fired up today. I think it's all the, the hot pink and the orange is ready for spring. My husband and cameraman handed me this dryer sheet and said, so I would tell, I said, oh no. Uh-uh, that's balance. I know the smell of my dryer sheets. Okay, coming in here to my dining room. Don't mind this massive box. I'm testing out a big shoe rack. If it's good, I will link it in the description box below. I love all things organizing. So here's the recommendation. You take your dry, like I got a ton of baseboards in my house, as, a, as you probably do as well. You get your dryer sheet to clean your baseboards. Who the heck's gonna do this all around their house to clean their baseboards? I mean, I'm frogging it around trying to clean this thing. Like, no, no, or you need knee pads to clean it. So I got a better alternative for you. We're gonna circle back to something. You remember this guy? <laughs> this is all you need, watch. Do, 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 do. I'm five foot seven, so if you're shorter than me, you don't have to bend over as much. If you're taller, you might have to bend over a little more. Ding, ding, you can even do it in here. Yeah, take that dryer sheet. Here we go, boom, boom. Cleaning faster than ever before, getting our cardio in all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. Now I will tell you where I will use this. If you have a closet or like a gym bag pocket, put it in here, just like this. Let it hang out there. It's pretty inconspicuous, hidden. And then when you open your door, you have a nice smell. In your dryer, here's where it should go. Not on your baseboards. Keeping that stainless steel shiny and looking nice and new is tricky, especially if you have little fingers around your house. So I've had my fair share of stainless steel cleaners. I have even more, but these are just a few to show you how many I have purchased. So I have a revolutionary way to clean your stainless steel without chemicals because some of these smell like a garage and then it's on your fingers. And then like, I do like the sprayway one. This one actually smells like a nice lemon, but many of them just stink. It is kind of stinky. So digging in our pocket here. Dun, da, da. This is amazing. It has a little hook on it. You can clean without any sort of harsh chemicals. There's two sides to it, a very fluffy side. We're gonna use first to clean and then not as thick of a side to buff. So let's go over here to my stainless steel refrigerator. Get your cloth out. You know, you do this at the end of the evening when you're going to bed. So that way when you wake up in the morning, your kitchen looks all nice. You're gonna flip that cloth around and then you can buff your stainless steel without any harsh chemicals, without any smells. You're actually gonna save yourself some money because you're not buying more cleaners. You just, you have this cloth. This is kind of like magic. It's kind of like a, a Norwex cloth, which works fantastic, or an e-cloth for cleaning your windows. You don't need any chemicals with the cloths, which is great. I love all the things. Many of you comment like, why do you use all the cleaners? I like to try everything. It's just like for me, like fashion, beauty, makeup, hair. I like to try it all, that's fun. It keeps it interesting. So there you go. Ooh, I've spotted some fingerprints. And you do wanna get this a little bit damp, but watch. I mean, gone. 
gone, gone, gone. Amazing. A couple things to note. If you find that it's not cleaning as well as you hoped it would, one, you probably have built up product on your stainless steel that needs to come off over time. Second, use a little less water. And third, make sure that the stainless steel is fully dry. Sometimes it can take like 10, 15 minutes to really see the effects of it. Now you may be asking yourself, Andrew Jean, how do you wash these? Never ever wash this with fabric softener because it's gonna get embedded just like with microfiber towels. I just wash this on warm water with some laundry detergent and I put it in the dryer on medium heat. While we were in here, my husband noticed some chocolate on the chair, on the chair. So I wanna show you how this Folex actually works. Instant stain remover. Anything I talk about here today will be linked in the description box below as well as the amazing benefits from our sponsor of today's video, Care of. Watch this. Da 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 da. Blot. Probably better to blot at first. If at first don't succeed, do a little rub a dub dub. Let's let that fully dry so that you can see, but look at gone. Time is a ticking. It's almost fully dry, but you can see here that the stain is gone. And I'm pretty sure that was chocolate or hopefully not poop. You never know. Snack break, all this cleaning has gotten me hungry. Is it too early to eat cookies at 9.30 in the morning? Never too early. Okay, let me finish chewing this quick. Let me know if I have to eat my teeth. This is probably the dumbest cleaning hack I've ever seen. You take a microfiber towel, dip it in like some Dawn or something. You get a lid pot, pot lid, whatever you call it. You put it on here and then you like wrap it around. Obviously this is too big. I got rid of most of my pot lids, went for something else I showed in a previous video. Okay, here's the problem when you do this. The only sort of friction that's happening when you're cleaning your couch like this is the perimeter of the lid. Like this is just like touching it. There's no pressure. Look at because there's a space with, the, this is the dumbest thing. Like who is doing this? This is viral on the internet to clean your couches. People are telling you to do this. No, 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 no. If you ask one thing for Christmas, for your birthday, for your anniversary, just because you pushed a baby out, this. You need this. If someone barfs, if someone pees, if someone spills red wine, if you just wanna shine up your white furniture because you have four children, you are gonna want this. This, this. this is worth every single penny. I've had this for such a long time. It works amazing. I love cleaning these couches. I clean them every three months or so. It's very satisfying to see what I can pick up. Also, if you have fabric or upholstered chairs, you're gonna want a little green machine to clean these babies up on a periodic basis because especially in your kitchen and you got kids and they're eating and spilling stuff, you don't want your kitchen chairs to look super dingy. And I've purchased leather chairs. I actually got rid of my entire set because they would scratch the leather. Ugh. Just realized my dryer's done. So we're gonna check those shoes. Let's just see, are they, they damaged or not? So here we are in here. Let's dig from, oh nice. Someone left paper in their pocket, found it in the dryer. Okay, they're so nice and here we go. Here's one shoe. It did come untied. All right. Intact. We'll, we'll inspect. Here's another one. Okay. Like a little fuzz bunny. Other than a couple fuzz bunnies here stuck. These are looking good as new. Oh, and I should show this because I feel like I'm sort of the queen of removing stains at this point. So this, these were all dirty. That's why I wanted to wash these. It's something like yellow or brown mud or something. So this is what I did before I washed them. Pre-treat is the name of the game. I love shout. I just sprayed a bunch on here and let it sit for 15 minutes before I put it in the washing machine with all of these clothes. Number 20, I'm getting sad. We're nearing the end here, but you may have seen this viral stuff floating around the internet. It's like the most disgusting goo. It's, it's a dust cleaning gel. You're supposed to put this in your vents to like clean it and then it collects all the dust. Well, first of all, this is nasty on my hands. Who wants to clean with that? Like there we got some residue here. And then once this is full of dust, then what, you stick it back in your little container? No, like let me demonstrate what people are telling you to do with this this garbage. I keep these things on hand just to demonstrate. What, oh, my kitchen, yes, okay. First of all, like, ugh, it's disgusting. Like why, who's gonna clean like this? We're supposed to do this? This is how we're cleaning now? This is dumb, it's disgusting. It's not even doing anything. Don't waste your money on this stuff, okay? Here's what you need. And um, can you guess what I'm gonna pull out of my pocket? <laughs> oh God, this is really still stuck on my hands. Dun, 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 you need to dust something. Literally, this is all you need. This is it, this is it. This little, little wandy here. Mm -hmm. This is the star of the show today, besides care of. The most recent viral cleaning hack trend I've seen is where you take hot 
boiling water for your floors and hardwood floors. First of all, do not ever use boiling hot water on your hardwood floors. Like, no, that's gonna warp your wood. That is not good. Just use a little warm water. And then they tell you to use like dishwasher tabs and laundry detergent and baking soda and for whatever combination of things to clean your floor. We got like a 10 ingredient thing with hot boiling water to clean your floors. No. Warm water, a good spin mop is my favorite. By the way, I no longer like my Tinco vacuum mop. This is a cleaner that I'm loving. It smells amazing. A little goes a long way. It's also a multi-surface cleaner. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, and he's like, I don't know, handsome in a strange way. That's all you need. Don't do all that other crap when it comes to cleaning your floor. Keep your cleaning simple without damaging your lovely environment. If you're also looking for another great floor cleaner, not just for hardwood floors, but Murphy's is excellent. It just has a nice scent to it. It makes everything sparkle. Just a few drops go a long way. I hope you had as much fun as I had here today. Also, make sure that you use the code on screen to get 50% off your first month subscription of Care Of. Thumbs up to health and wellness. Also, make sure you click in that description box below for the newsletter sign up and also any products that I mention here are also linked below to help make your cleaning and life a whole lot easier and maybe a little fun and entertaining at the same time. All right, if you wanna see some more home hacks that actually work, click this video on screen now. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.